Um, it was probably around the age of 10 or 11, I had learned it with hiking with my grandpa. Uh, we would just go on a trail and anywhere we'd take a turn or maybe even just stop and have lunch, we'd make a little smaller Karen style stack and then just <laughs> went crazy with it. Uh, would go for hours on end in my shed back home with just a small selection of stones, um, taking them down, putting them back up, just get really getting to know the, the spots and the textures and the weight of them, how they're going to sit. My first stack was actually a slight little counterbalance. It was three tiny little stones, but they were nice and scattered. Uh, and then from there, just pushing myself, holding on to stacks for a half hour and just playing around with the possibilities. I've always been fascinated by the fact that the word nature contains the words true art. And for me, making this connection at the same time as I became aware of stone balancing was a real revelation for me. The beautiful thing about stone balancing is that it does teach you the art of letting go, that indeed everything in life is transient. And when we learn to let go of things, it seems that life immediately provides a new experience um, to replace that with and to ultimately keep on developing you into a wiser human being perhaps. It's certainly a more balanced one, that's for sure. Part of me really wanted to uh, create art but not be so fixated on what the product would be. It's, it's kind of easy to be attached to things or uh, get upset about things if they're not uh, going your way, which uh, I think is uh, something that you are learning in the process of balancing stones. Uh. Last spring, I had the opportunity to teach like 600 elementary school kids uh, the art of stone stacking or creating earth art. It's awesome because you're not just teaching children or people uh, an art form, you're teaching them uh, life lessons. That's what you do just to feel it. Now you can see there must be one of these just slightly <laughs> off. So if you take these top, these two off, right, and then replace that stone. Beautiful. I mean, you've done it. Your first stack. Fantastic. When I was younger, I was diagnosed with ADHD and I had a real difficulty concentrating. And I couldn't sit in a classroom you know, for 15 minutes, let alone hold my hands still and my body still while I'm looking for a stone that might fit in that last gap that I need oh so desperately. Oh, it's not big enough. So, you know, from where I was then to where I feel like I am now, just due to, you know, the concentration that's required, I'm almost, you know, being able to hold myself long enough, 15, 20 minutes to try and get this balance. Whereas beforehand, there's no way you would have me doing this. It's easy to feel like, you know, you're, you're so separate from the earth and the environment, but the, the process of holding on to the stones and making the slight adjustments has made me feel more connected. When we develop this focus and this attention to anything, every other thought goes out your mind. And this for me is a really important part of or what is lacking perhaps a little bit in society today is the ability to stay focused and to stay in the moment. And through this, this almost became a spiritual practice for me. Right now, I'm 
I'm trying to negotiate the weights and balances through just like feeling the lean one way and this way and that way. And so I'm at a point where all those adjustments are really finite. Uh, it's so subtle, it can crash in my hands at any moment. And I'm touching different parts of the rock to feel little vibrations, almost like it lets you know when they'll steady with how the vibrations kind of start to slow down. I like the little moss hanging off of it. <laughs> nice little touch. And my legs went a little numb. <laughs> Just gotta fight through some pain sometimes. Um, so I just, I think it just is a, it's a great free active meditation. Um, it brings you into nature. It has a lot of life lessons that you can learn from. You, know, you learn uh, a lot of those life lessons just through the process of uh, stillness and focus in, in that way. It's taught me more things about myself than I can uh, pinpoint any other um, way of learning has.